Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Many are still wondering what will happen next in the battle over pension reform in Kentucky. Yesterday, I spoke to Pike County Schools Head Start Coordinator Patricia Lee Collins, who is also a co-organizer of the group of educators known as Pike County Strong. During the interview, I asked her about the likelihood of an extended work stoppage among teachers, and she told me that, at this point, is unlikely. I did speak to uh, our KEA president about that, and I've spoken to uh, the lady who, who uh, kind of coordinates some things out in uh, Fayette County, and, uh, and neither one of them want that to happen either and think that that's a possibility. Collins said a work stoppage would hurt educators and support staff who would be unable to pay into their benefits and insurance due to not getting paid. She said low-income students would also be affected. You actually have to be working to pay into your benefits, so that would be asking everyone to pay their own insurance, pay their own, you know, uh, their parts of everything, all the other uh, fringe benefits. Our students who, who, in my job as the Head Start Director, I know the majority of their home lives, uh, where they come from, and they need to come to school to eat. They need to come to school to, to uh, escape uh, insanity for a little while. Uh, and that scares me. And I could not, in good conscience, uh, support a prolonged work stoppage. Collins also said Governor Matt Bevan could also use an extended work stoppage by Kentucky's teachers to his advantage. I don't trust this governor enough to say yes, we would go on work stoppage. I mean, it would not surprise me if he would let us stay off out of work for months and not get paid. He's mean. He really is mean. I, I don't see one redeeming good quality in that man. He does not care about people, working class people, middle class people. It's obvious everything he says and does. He does not care about real people that work and are the backbone to this state. Collins and members of Pike County Strong are planning on attending Friday's rally in Frankfurt. In the EKB studio, Chris Anderson. EKB News.